that's her and she's sniffing and licking on that. Hey, right, let's go check her out. Oh. I don't know if we can look. It looks like she's calving from the camera. That's Dutch. She never, uh, she always surprises you. Oh, is this a mess? February. Lovely. Oh, that's just the water bag. Yeah, she's calving. Right. Yeah, we'll have to move her in. Okay, Let's, uh... Hey, Glossy. <laughs> yeah, you go over there. Let's she walk her in. She doesn't want to move, eh? Well, no, because she'll want to cab out here, but... That's where... Let's go. Come on, Dutch. Come on. Let's go to the barn. It's nicer in there, sweetie. Come on. So Dutch is the cow that calved a couple years ago with her calf that was, uh, she calved in a snowstorm and uh, we put that calf in a bathtub. That, that one was too nearly dead. And we revived that one. That was our first experience. And then we gotta go grab uh, one of Greta's twins. Do you want a red one or the black one? Uh, black one, please. If you wanna grab it, that'd be I'll great. Grab it right now, because it's just so hard. Yeah, so we gotta do. Uh, that calf didn't make it. Not sure exactly why, but uh, it is what it is. So we're gonna grab Greta's uh, one of the twins and take some pressure off of her. Yeah, it sucks, but it, like I said, it is what it is. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna get a calf. I'm gonna transfer that calf onto her. That's gonna take a bit, it's a bit of work, but in the long term, it'll be good for Greta and good for the calves and it'll be good for this cow. So we'll let her calve in the barn. You normally don't do this. She always does it in miserable weather. Come on there, sweetie. As you can see, she's very wild. Okay, I want to weigh that. Peter's bringing the calf. And I'm just curious to see what it weighs. I think it was born at 60 pounds, 62 pounds, but I could be wrong. Well, whatever it is, it's been doing well. It's 90 pounds. Jeepers. That guy's doing awesome already. What was it with four? I'm, I'm gonna look it up, but I know it was definitely not. Yeah, we'll look it up. I think, it, I think that's doing well. I don't think it will drink right away because it was just drinking from mom. Oh shoot, well then we're gonna have to keep it in a pen for make, make it hungry, so. All right, yeah, that's a nice heifer calf that Chad. All right, are you gonna accept your new baby? If you don't, you're gonna be gone. So I'm afraid that it's gonna take a little bit. That calf isn't very hungry right now. So we're gonna keep trying and uh, it's gonna be a bit of a process, but <clears throat> yeah. Go for it, buddy. Come on, we're letting you. There's milk there, eh? Mm -hmm.
There we go. He's on. Good for you. And the cow is standing pretty good for him. That one, have you seen that one on? I have not. He was just under their head, Bobby. Look at that. This will be good. Now the cow will be able to clean out. So, what kind of hormones is that changing them for the? For the what? This helps them release the and helps them clean out their afterbirth uh, when they get oxytocin. There. I thought oxytocin. Well, oxytocin also releases milk and uh, yeah, it's just a reliever. Good job, Mama. Did you know you have oxytocin too? No, I didn't. When you go pee? Oh. I release my oxytocin. Yeah, when you go pee. Nice. Life's like, hard back on. This calf is loving it because it's getting all this uh, colostrum. The calf was like wondering, what the heck are you doing? Kendall and Nelson, he's like, oh! Woohoo, sweet! Let's do this! So, we weighed this calf and it's over 90 pounds and it was born at 72. So in 8 days it's gained 18 pounds, so I think that's pretty good. It's okay. Hey. No. No. Don't do that. That's not good for anybody. Cap doesn't care. Oh, it wants the good stuff. I'm guessing the fact that that one's cleaning out, I'm guessing that calf has been on already. But we can check it. We'll process that one after and... That was a tall calf. Yep. Just like her mother. The calf is not stopping. Yeah, so we'll have to do this. Probably until the calf starts pooping out this cow's milk. And then now that's when the calf, I believe, starts smelling like uh, the cow's scent. Then that cow, this cow should accept the calf as its own. Yeah. He's this, not going to stop. No, this calf is loving. It's like, woohoo, look at all this milk. Don't have to fight sister for this milk. Well, he's still going. He's uh, on his last quarter. He's been going from one to the next. Me and Peter think it's a good idea. We're gonna, we weighed him before and we're gonna weigh him after. See how much, uh, whether he's gained anything from all the milk he's drank. There you go. So, and being over here, we have now seen that calf, our new calf off a of Dutch. Seen that calf on. So that's good. We'll process that one, weigh him. But it is miserable outside, so we're gonna uh, we'll leave them in the barn for night. All right, this calf did awesome. Mom did awesome, or new mom did awesome. We're gonna weigh this calf for fun, and uh, we'll let this cow out. She can get a drink, get some food. Holy! Is and this a I'm pretty sure thing? he's gained weight. <laughs> this is navel. Oh, the take a look at. All right. Yeah, he's he's full. Yeah. He weighed 90 pounds. He weighed 90 pounds just before. We'll see what he weighs now. Probably only gained two pounds, maybe at most. <sighs> ah, says the calf. Up you go. 
can't even lift him. He's he's struggling. <laughs> he's so full. Okay. Yeah, he's gained two pounds. That's not bad, eh? She wants in too. Oh, 86 pounds. Good cough. Nice weight calf. Hopefully, you get more animals like that. All right, I got your measure ready for him. Oh. There. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. It's still with me. You're good to go do that. Mm, yeah. All right, we're close to the we're close to the end of the day, and the rain has stopped. It's starting to get a little bit colder, and it's not snowing. It's just really windy and cold. Bed packs are a bit wet, so we want the cows and calves on dry ground. No point in doing that earlier in the day because it was it would it would have gotten wet right away anyway. So. And typically when it's windy and uh, the weather is what it is, typically the cows stand in windbreaks, they don't lay down and stuff, and the calves are in the shelters. So, um, but going into the night, they're gonna hunker down um, and we want some fresh straw for them to lay on. So me and Peter are gonna quickly do that before it gets dark. Then we'll move some cows into the barn and uh, see if anybody else is uh, wanting to calve. So. He's got the tractor with the shredder on it. I'm gonna grab some bales for him and I'm also gonna grab a bale of oat straw for the one side, they're, uh, they're running low. So, got a few things to do at the end of the day and then, uh, yeah. pens left here to do and then it should be good but you can just see it's in that stage we're in that stage right now where the the ground is starting to freeze with the snow and it's uh it's not fun to be working in not gonna lie and i don't doubt the cows wish it was drier too so we will get them some nice dry straw here. They got they got a thick uh, thick hide and they can handle tough conditions. But the big thing with them is keeping them trying to keep them dry. No. Eight. That. Well, what's 28? She bagged up. No. Damn it, she didn't take her first. The one I saw earlier was. Uh, Those two need to go in. Which one? Oh, that one up there, that roan one. Oh, this one needs to go in. She's bagged up. Yeah. And 8K does not need to go in. I can always peel them out once you take a better look at them inside. Uh, 8K, no. AK-47. AK? AK oh, 
Oh, it's just disgusting. Oh, nice fresh straw pack. She wants to enjoy it while she's out here. That's 33F. She does not need to be in here. Well, that didn't take long. Well, Mama's still what kicking at it a bit. But, uh... No, Eloise. You can't come in here tonight. Let's go. Get out. I think the cat, when you got your right hand on it, I think she can go. Six K, you gotta stay. All right, well, we freshly, uh, we've, we got some nice fresh trout, and now it's starting to snow again, so, well, that's part of the course, so. <clears throat> got the cows in the barn, and got the calves all paired up in the barn. And that calf that we're transferring onto that heifer that lost his calf, uh, look, I showed you there. It looks like it's doing pretty good. It's uh, persistent and it likes the it likes the milk and the uh, plostrum that's in that calf, supporting that cow. So that's good. So yeah, now we'll sit back and wait and see whether anybody casts tonight. So it's supposed to get colder over the next couple of days. Hopefully, not is not supposed to get not supposed to be as windy. But we're hoping that again the ground freezes before we get much more snow and it won't be nearly as sloppy and I'm hoping it's a lot drier for our animals. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.